I am from Vijayawada. My name is Pajay T. Rama Mohan Rao. When Baba first came to Vijayawada, I went to the station to receive him. There is not a lot of crowd in the station. I could not go in front. There are four or five people in front of me. Then the train has come. The, tra it, the train has come. And Baba must have got down. Meanwhile, after a short spell of time, a hand cut hold of my neck and pulled me out. There I saw Baba for the first time, his most charming and beautiful figure. He, Baba patted me, embraced me, kissed me. Then I felt almost unconscious. I felt very happy and I could not speak anything. Then Baba left me and went off. The hand that pulled you? The hand that pulled me was Baba. Uh, uh, Baba was taking food. Uh, a whim was passing in my mind that Baba should give me his food. Then without my asking for that, he called me upstairs and then handed over the plate to me and asked that I and the, my family should take that food. And so myself, my wife, my children and Sarvav all put particles of that. And I was very happy even that by asking, Baba could know my mind and gave me that food to me. Before Baba before le re leaving for Machili Patnam, he sat in the car. Mr. Sarvara and myself were standing at, at the entrance. Baba, from his seat, just turned, completely turned back, and then pointed out two of his fingers and, and to us, and then put it over, pointing to his heart. We felt that Baba said, both of us are always in his heart. So we have been devotees of Siddhi Sai Baba for a number of years before we came in, know about Meher Baba. That Sai Baba Shirdi? That Sai Baba, Sai Baba Shirdi. 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 Though Sai Baba passed away a number of years ago, we heard he was giving physical darshan in a village near Ahmad Nagar, that is Miraj Gaum. That they were giving permission for the devotees of Sai Baba to go and see him actually. So we applied for, his, for our darshan and they approved. Then both Sarvarao and myself went to that place, Dr. Kanakadandi, and we, we could actually see Sai Baba, though he passed away number of years ago. Number of years ago. From this place, we went to Meher Baba on January 1st, 1956. When we actually saw Sai Baba, he wanted, we prostrated before him and he wanted to know what we wanted from him. Then, uh, what we wanted from him, he said, Baba, we do not want anything except your blessings. And he said, all my blessings are always with you. Then from that place, we went to Satara where Meher Baba was staying at that time. Baba gave us permission to see him on January 1st. He gave permission to myself, Brother Sarvarao and Dr. Karakadandi. We went late from Angavan Nagar because the car gave trouble. Meanwhile, Baba was asking, what happened to these people? Why have they not come? So he waited sufficiently long and he went to his room asking Yuruj, to call him when we came there. When we went there, we were given food. Afterwards, Baba was sent for and he, he came to the place. Baba was inquiring why we were late, all that. We told him that car gave trouble, Baba. That's why we were late. Then he was asking, what happened to you? Where were you coming from? But we felt a bit guilty. We did not say that we have come out seeing Sai Baba. Then he said, why do we go about to quench your thirst? when there is a jar of water in your stomach. Then we said we could not say anything to him, but we simply 
gave namaskar to him. Then he asked us whether we could come on January 14th to Pune because Baba was giving darshan for 20 kilo darshan at Pune on January 14th. That is our Pongal day. That is Sankranti day, important festival for us. We said, well, Baba, whatever it is, you are God. We are coming to Pune to have your darshan, though there is a Pongal or Sankranti at our place. Then he said, all right, you come there. 